Public infrastructure is a very big word to essentially say the bits and pieces of the city that are required to make the city function. So cars, people, water, sewer, electricity is all contained in the umbrella that is public infrastructure. My name is Molly Levesque and I am manager of capital projects for public infrastructure engineering. Obviously they took out that sidewalk or they're gonna try to keep this. I think they got a straight piece of handrail with the curve. Being a female in this field, it is still very much a male um, dominated field. And if there is a situation where um, people don't think that I am the one in charge or I'm the one that has the answers, um, I'm not afraid to uh, correct them. Females are definitely starting to enter the field more. I think we had to almost fight for our seat at the table. And when you're fighting for your seat and you're fighting to be taken seriously, you kind of want it more. Just in my experience, all the, all the females that I've met are very good at their jobs. I think we have two female engineers in our group. And so this is probably the most female engineers that I've worked with in my entire career, and it's great. I was in college and kind of just kept taking the next math class that I needed and the next physics class that I needed. And suddenly I found myself surrounded by engineering majors and found that it was a lot of problem solving. If I don't know the answer, I can put you in touch with the person who does. It's my job to look kind of broad level and make sure that we're not stepping on toes on other people's projects, make sure that we're working together when we can work together. When I'm doing a sidewalk and water and sewer needs to replace the water line and we work together to come up with a final product so we're not digging up um, Miss Smith's roses twice. <sighs> Project management is very different from actually managing people. So managing people has a lot of different soft skills that are required versus project management, which is more hard deadlines and actual numbers. So this is me. We uh, usually collab in the middle, and that's the time where I take to uh, check in with my employees. Hey! hey. Different project status updates. And I've made all these changes. Okay, good. Oh, so this is, you're doing the Victory Garden list? Yes. We also spend quite a good amount of time in the field. Whenever we have a construction project going on, we are often looking at problems as they arise, um, talking with citizens if there's an issue. Did we fix this crack that was over here? And we will go and we'll do field investigations to make sure that we're designing to conditions and all those conditions are captured um, in the survey. Isn't there a pole there? There is. Mm -hmm. There is it. Yeah. Yep, right there. We'll, we'll try to figure out um, a way to solve the problem and even may come in there and try to just improve something that is still working technically, um, but it would be a lot better if we did it a different way. We would possibly be able to make a more gradual slope graded down. So this project is our Robert and Trudy Perkins Way project. This was part of the Bond Neighborhood First plan. The biggest problem for this Missing Link sidewalk project was finding room to build it. So up ahead we have um, some building encroachments. This is such an old roadway that the buildings were built within the right-of-way or the right-of-way was established when the buildings were already there. A lot of people don't know that a good portion of their front yard is usually right of way. So that means that there's gonna be water lines running through it. That means there's gonna be um, sewer systems running through it. You have to design within the city right of way. And if your design extends past the city right of way, you have to coordinate with that property owner. We're really proud of the Family Way project and being able to kind of connect to it and bring the Family Way Landscaping and streetscaping up into FAMU is uh, really, really rewarding, but it really does um, make you feel good when citizens and residents and homeowners appreciate the work you did. It's a big deal to them. I love it, I like my craft. So becoming a manager and learning to manage people is really just another problem solving skill that I've had to acquire and another um, like I said, problem that I needed to solve. And so it goes perfectly into what I like doing as an engineer.